Good morning. Welcome to WJZ.com. And we're clearly er oh, I was going to say we're clearly early. We had beaten the Harbor Taxi right on time. There it is, 7 o'clock Harbor Taxi. And not getting wet right now. And look at the reflection of the inner and outer harbor. There are some breaks in clouds that delivered us rain during the overnight. Let's go ahead and take a look at some temps. It's pretty critical. I mean, today we're going to a high of 50. But this is critical to our discussion of what happened overnight. If you uh, really didn't, uh, if you went to bed early and you didn't know it, any winter weather advisories were dropped at about 9 o'clock. And it stayed primarily in the mid 30s overnight with a lot of rain. The only exception was a small little slot between uh, Frederick and Carroll County that got about 45 minutes of light mixed precip. Otherwise, we stayed very mild, and as this moisture gets out of here, maybe we'll see a few more peaks of sun than the forecast will indicate. But we're going for a high of 50 degrees. It is certainly going to be a mild one. That was pretty girthy area of rain. You know, once again, you know, Mother Nature gave us a swing and a miss. How many times that happened this season? Numerous times, to say the least. Now we've got another issue coming our way potentially on uh, Wednesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Synergy out over the four corners, going to gather some Gulf moisture and move our way. 29 degrees is going to be the overnight low tomorrow night when this moisture hits. We are going to start to see some very light snow, which will change over to mixed precip, comma, eventually on Wednesday. How many times we've been sitting there just drumming our fingers, waiting for this to happen? Eventually, temperatures will rise Wednesday to a high of 54 degrees on Thursday, so whatever comes down will, will end as rain. But it's when is that going to happen? I'm going to bring in the Mid-Atlantic Future Cast. I've stripped the cloud layer, so all you're going to see is moisture. And again, there's... It's, uh, it's not going to be a blizzard. It's not even going to be a huge snow event. Though, the longer it takes for that changeover to occur, the more problematic it could be getting with mixed precip starting to pile up. We saw that, you know, last week. So there you have it. These advisories that are out right now, they start tomorrow night and go into Wednesday, but they're already posted on the map. So I don't think there's going to be a swing and a miss, but I don't think it's going to be an extra base yet either. At least I hope not. 50 degrees is going to be the high of this day. Cloudy most of the time. Maybe we'll get a little more sun. Clearly later than earlier, there'll be more sun. Partly cloudy. Tonight, 28 degrees will be your overnight low. Now, when you look at the seven-day, once we get beyond these issues, I want you to check out what happens. The Wednesday night, Temperatures start to rise, and then that may happen not during the overnight, but you know, 9, 10 o'clock. We'll see how it goes. Up to 54 degrees on Thursday, an overnight low of 33. Uh, Friday, 49 degrees. There could be a little snizzle around in the morning. It's just no big deal, really. Saturday, four shy of 50. Sunday, 52 degrees. So, I mean, when you when you step out and you take a look at the seven day in general, other than this bump in the road, it's seasonally mild. Enjoy this day, folks. One day closer to the weekend, one day closer to spring. Thanks so much for stopping by WJZ.com.